This is Dubious Code, and this video is to show how to make a video out of Pygame. So I have a Pygame program I'm working on, it's a self-driving car, and I'm trying to make videos out of it. Um, one issue that I have is that I only want to show some of the generations. I don't want to show 600 generations, I want to show a couple of them. So um, what I want to do is, you know, have Pygame to make the video instead of having to uh, use OSB Studio to make the video. Right now, I'm recording this video on, OB, on OBS Studio because it's convenient, it's a great screen capture tool. And then I'll go edit it with video editing software. Uh, but I don't always want to do that. Sometimes I want Pygame to make the video. And I researched how to do that, and it turns out there's not there's not a great way in Pygame. Pygame's not intended to make videos. You know, it makes screens, um, makes games, it doesn't make videos. Uh, but, you know, if you use Pygame uh, to make an PNGs, uh, and if you use a different tool, FFmpeg, to make the movies, it works really well. And it ends up being, this is what, six lines of code? It's a little bit more here because I wrote this as a class that I'm uh, putting into my main program. Um, but effectively, all you have to do is every frame you uh, Make a make the PNG name and then save the screen image. So pygame.image.save screen and then the path at which you're saving it. Um, one thing to know about the name of the uh, picture you're saving is that it needs to be in the form of an increasing integer uh, starting with zero or starting with zero or one. I think starting with one. So here that's what this percent zero eight D is plus count. So I have a counter in this class, starting at zero and going to one. And so every image will be one higher. And the reason for that is that FFmpeg, uh, that's how it uh, takes the form. So this, uh, so this is a, this FFmpeg is a separate program that you will go, that you would need to go and download. I have it on Windows 10. I think it's available on other things. So I got it, went it from ffmpeg.org, downloaded it, installed it. If you want to learn more about it itself, you know, I'm sure there's help pages here. I'm far from an expert on this tool. Uh, but, you know, then we'll do a system command, ffmpeg, give a frame rate, give the images. Um, there's a couple other settings here uh, that I use. I gave a codec, and then I gave a, basically keep 100% quality, this, minus Q with colon V zero says, keep the original quality of the PNGs instead of degrading quality, and then a name of the file. Uh, so if I were to run my program, so here I have, this is the game I'm working on, and it's a self-driving car, and this is running, uh, uh, it's not taking the picture yet, I set it to set, set it to take a picture on the third, fourth, fifth generations, or something like that. So uh, you'll notice one thing: these cars are going pretty quickly. This is a different topic, but I, you know, worked to make this game playable. Now, generation three, I'm taking pictures. It's much, much slower. This uh, should be taking running at 30 frames per second. Um, when I'm taking the pictures, it slows down immensely. Um, so as a result. I don't have it set, I don't have the clock at clock ticks um, 30. What I'm doing is just manually setting the time to be one, to be 30 frames per second. And you'll notice that that 30 frames per second coincides with this R30, 30 frames per second as my FFmpeg output. Um, and so every frame is generating a new PNG. So we've run four seconds of it because we have 120 picture images. You know, now it's 130. So this is running, should theoretically run 10 seconds per generation. It's much, much slower with this uh, MPEG. So I'm not sure if you could run this in real time, if there's a way to speed it up. I haven't tried because, you know, I'm okay with it running slow for a couple generations that I end up outputting for my movie. Let's see. Um, so I won't run this. This would what, run up 10 seconds. This, I'll let it run for 
um, a couple more. Um, but let's say let's say I, I ran the whole thing. Now we have 230 images. I can delete this movie. Um, and this is something you know you can do this however you want. But the key commands here are the Pygame image save with the foot with the file path, and then this OS system ffmpeg, then a uh, setting for frame rate, a setting for images, uh, codec quality name, and so here um, I have this injected. And if I'm calling it from main, it makes the movie. So video, I give a frames a screen size 1280 by 720 is the same size as my screen that you previously saw. And then make mp4 will call this. So I will call pyvideo.py. It goes through and runs that command, um, that system command, and makes this movie, which I can pull up. And so this is the same, this is the same thing that we saw before, except uh, running at actually 30 frames per second and only running for a couple seconds because we only ran it. We only got a couple seconds of output. Um, so yeah, there's not a great way to make a movie directly out of Pygame, but if you want to make it, if you just want to make the movie and you can use any tool you want, this OS system, uh, FFmpeg, with the appropriate command line works really well. Um, let's see, I use this. I think I use these two Stack Overflow questions to put this together. Uh, the other thing I looked at, I looked at uh, OpenCV, Open Computer Vision, CV2, and that worked okay. That was pure Python, but the file size was enormous. So this one, this one, my file size came out at four megabytes. Uh, the other one was a hundred times bigger, would be, uh, maybe not a hundred, but at least an order of magnitude, maybe two orders of magnitude bigger. Uh, when it made its output. So I think it's FFmpeg is what I found that works the best, and I hope something like this works for you. This is Dubious Code. Thanks for watching.